Hello everyone, this is Pratip and I shall present before you all my video assignment of diversity, social justice and learning. My key learning areas are history and geography and today for this video I have selected history as a part of my video. The topic of my video is history and gender differentiation. In this video, it can be seen how gender differentiation is prevalent in the field of history. History is a part of heat genre of subjects, that is, the subjects which are part of humanities, education, and there are differences which are made between males and females on the basis of their gender. Men are always thought to outperform in science and technology, while females are considered better in history, geography, etc., irrespective of their interest in uh, of subjects. Young children have minds of clay which get molded according to the surroundings and environment around. Girls are considered to be hard workers, while boys are smart workers. These gendered notions of intelligence have an effect on the interests that children pursue. Did you know women were not allowed to read the ancient scriptures in the past? But there's a huge list of women who changed the very course of history through their tremendous works. It has taken a long period of time for women to cover the journey from not being allowed to read history to recreate history. These wonderful women have set an example for the posterities to come. Exodus was the first female gynecologist. Anna Filosofa, a prominent women rights activist and Russian philanthropist who worked for the upliftment of the poor and the world. Countries are classified on the basis of gender equality which stands for the equal treatment given to men as women. Men tend to choose more STEM subjects while women choose heat subjects. This difference is what is called self-belongingness, that is children choose the subjects of their choice. Boys and girls choose subjects which has more workforce of their own gender. Despite of the fact that both boys and girls have self-efficacy in the heat subjects, lesser boys choose them as profession because of lack of career progression and the rewards associated with it. The main reason behind the choice of subjects is gender skill. The data collected from various sources tell us that even in rest of the academic subjects, there is greater balance in the male and female workers, but history has lagged behind. The recent surveys have proven that two-thirds of the public historians were women and they major in fields that enhance unemployment and overeducation. Gender stereotypes encourage boys and girls towards different educational tracks, which in future influences their occupation. Traditionally, more science subjects are considered masculine, while subjects such as history and language are considered to be feminine. It is believed that men write history about men. The genre of history books is dominated by journals, presidents and authors who were males. An editor at the Oxford University said that he loves to publish women biographies, but it does not tend to sell very well. No subject is based on gender. There are plenty of examples of males who have chosen heat subjects and numerous females who have marked their footprints in history being excellent scientists, engineers and architects. Instructions can be comprehended as creating specific subjects with explicit necessities and wants that are curved in complex manners. Schools have a commitment to guarantee they make strong and pertinent instructive encounters for their understudies, hence no gender subjects. So this is the end of my video assignment. Thank you so much for watching it. Hope you like it and I've made it using Powtoon. Thank you.